Okay, so today we're going to be creating a custom essential graphics for Premiere Pro. So to get things started, I'm going to make a new composition. I'm going to call this um, Essential Graphics. And uh, we're going to make it 1920 by 1080 and 10 seconds long. Then I'm going to click OK. And I've got a image here. It's just of like some mushroom sort of forest thing. It looks pretty cool. So I'm going to use that for my background. So what we want to make is a episode title that can be customized in Premiere Pro by changing the episode number, the title and a tint color. So we're going to start with the number because that's easiest. So to get things started here, we're going to create um, a new text. So if we click on the text tool, I'm just going to hit zero. And we'll just put it here for now. And what we can do is then we can create a new null object. And I'm going to rename this to controller because it's going to be our controller. And um, what we have to do is we have to make it so that the number can be changed with a simple effect, such as a slider or by typing in some text. So for a number, we probably want to use a slider. So I'm going to go up into effect. Um, expression controls and I want slider control. So if we'll just pop this down, what we can do is we can go to the number, we can go into text, source text, and we can alt click this and uh, then we can go into controller and we can grab the pit quip here and attach it to the slider and now when we drag this across it will create a number, but obviously it creates a lot of decimals as well, which we don't want. So we'll fix that in a moment. But also, we don't want 100 episodes. So I'm going to right click, edit value, and we're just going to make it 9 episodes. So we change the slider range. So now it can go from 0 to 9 and all the numbers in between. So uh, now we need to fix the decimal. So we need to add an expression or a little bit of an expression to the end of this one. So I'm going to add dot value dot two capital fixed. And then we just want to hit zero. So what this will do is it will only take the first value, which is the whole number. So now when we slide it across, we still get the decimals, but it only shows the um, whole number. So we can now close that. And um, let's position that here, I guess. And now we want to change the tint color because that's the next easiest. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Uh, we're going to put it underneath everything, like our text, because we don't really want to color that. And I'm going to add the tint effect, so that'd be in color correction tint. And we can just leave it like that for now. We can go into our controller and we want to add another effect, part of expression controls, and it's color control. So now what we can do is we can open up this effect tint and we can alt click white because that's the one that will change it go into controller, grab the pick whip and attach it to this color here. Then when we change this color, it will change the color of our clip. Now, obviously this is a bit intense. So I'm going to open up opacity by hitting T and I'm just going to put this to like 50%. So it's just not as harsh, but you can do whatever you want for this. And for now, I'm going to select a nice blue color. So um, last thing we're going to do in this example here is just add an episode title. So to do this, I'm just going to type episode title. And that's all you have to do for that. But you do have to do a little bit more later. So we're going to rearrange it to look like this. I quite like that. It looks fairly cool. 
And um, for now, that's all we're going to do. So this is quite basic, and um, that is all we need for now. So we need to go up into our um, workspaces, and we're going to click Essentials Graphics, and it opens up this box over here. So, first thing to do is to select a composition that we've made it in. So this is Essential Graphics, because that's what I named it. And then you can see that comes up here. And we can name it. So we're going to name it um, Episode Thing. Okay, so now we want to hit Solo Supported Properties. And it opens up all the things that could be used in here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the slider, because that's the episode number. So we just need to drag that into here, and you can see it pops up here, and we can change it inside. Then we also want to add in the colour. And finally, we want to add in source text for the episode, because that's what we're going to change. So uh, that's all of that, so we can close them. Like so. Okay, so now we have this, we want to order them and rename them. So for the slider, we want it to be called episode number. The colour wants to remain colour, and source text wants to turn into episode title. Okay, and then I'm going to put episode title at the top because it's the most important. You can also add a comment, so um, this is a tutorial on essential graphics like so and we can change the name of the comment let's just call it the movie effect so we can see where that will appear and we can also reorder that so I'll put that at the bottom now let's put it at the top okay so that is all of that done so now we want to export motion graphics template and it will prompt to say this project needs to be saved first. So I'm going to click save and it will save the project and we get to choose where to save it. So um, you can save it in these three options. So local drive, that's on your computer or essential graphics. So we're going to save it there. Click OK. And um, that is done. And now it's time to open up Premiere Pro. OK, so now we're in Premiere Pro with a new um, timeline open you need to have a timeline open so you could just create a new black video and just chuck that in and then you've opened something up and you can delete that or you can put some footage in and do this at the end of your project but what we need to do is hit window and then essential graphics and i'm just going to put this in uh, over here and we'll put it by effect controls so we're currently in essential graphics and you can see there are quite a few pre-made ones that um a premiere pro and adobe come with so we can go into sports and you can see we've got some sports overlays and that's quite cool but um we can see that we've also got ours here and i've also done a test so we've got another version over here so we can just click on this and drag it into and we'll just uh, change sequence settings to fit with this title. And you can see we have it here. And um, next up what we can do is it opens up edit mode. So browse and edit. And in edit we can change everything. So we can call this movie effect. And when we click enter you can see the text changes to movie effect. Same font. We can change the episode number. So it's episode 5. We can change the colour to red or pink and um, you can also make it so um, it doesn't when you drag in a new one it won't affect it so um, if we go back into browse we can drag in the same one again and you can see they're still separate and we can put in whatever we want on this one so this one could be called tutorial episode well, six if we're continuing on. And the colour this time could be green. And you can see it, they won't affect each other. So you can use them as many times as you want. So um, this was a basic look at um, making essential graphics 
in After Effects and then using them in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. See you next week.